everyone, welcome to Nitin Academy and I'm Nitin. And today in PSLE Math 2022 Paper 2 Question Series, I'll be going through question 5. So, let's get started. Okay, so today, I'll be going through question 5. So, let's take a look at it. Okay, question 5 is actually testing us on ratio. So, let's read the question first. The number of boys and girls in a hall were in the ratio of 2 is to 5. Okay? So this is actually really important. So the number of boys and girls in a hall were in the ratio of 2 is to 5. After 11 boys entered and half the number of the girls left the hall, okay, the ratio of the number of boys to girls became 1 is to 1. How many children were there in the hall? Okay, so this is actually the question. So first of all, uh, the ratio at, at first was actually 2 is to 5. After 11 boys entered and half of the girls left, the ratio of the boys is to girls became 1 is to 1. How many children were there in the hall? Okay, first, let's take a look at the ratio before. So boys is to girls. It was 2 is to 5, right? So what am I going to do first? So I'm actually going to uh, times 2 this. I'm actually going to times 2, both sides. Which will give us 4 is to 10. Do you know why? Because half of the number of girls left the hall, right? Half of the number of girls left the hall, right? So we can't have it being uh, 2.5 units of the girls left the hall. Okay? So, instead, I'm going to times 2 this and have it be that 5 units of the girls left the hall. So, after we have one is, uh, boys is to girls is 1 is to 1, right? So, what am I going to do? I'm, gonna, I'm actually going to times 5 both sides so that when I take 10 minus 5 units, I get 5 units here. So that the girls remain half gone, okay? So there's actually a change in minus 5 units and for the boys, there is a change in plus 1 unit. Okay, because 5 minus 4. So basically, 5 units minus 4 units is equal to 1 unit. So what do we understand by this? After 11 boys entered, okay, so 4 to 5 boys, 11 boys entered the hall, right? So from 4 units, the boys became 5 units. So one unit is actually 11 boys, okay? So, if we know one unit is equal to 11 boys, how many children were there in the hall? Okay, so there were actually 14 units, right? 10. At first, there were actually 4 units plus 10 units. So, there's 14 units. So, how many children were there in the hall? Meaning, at the start. So, 14 units of children is actually uh, 1 unit we know that is 11, right? So 14 units is basically 11 times 14. So 14 times 11 gives us 154. So this is the answer to this question. And I hope you understand how to do this type of question now. And if you did not know how to solve this question before, I hope you understand how to solve such a question. Okay? With that, I've come to the end of this video and thank you and bye-bye. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!